All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and Bungie is going to be making some crazy changes to how abilities work in Destiny 2 very soon here. And I mean, these are gonna, this is gonna be a huge overhaul, and this is gonna especially affect PvP. So let's go ahead and cover this short news story for today. It was tweeted out by uh, Bungie Dev Sandbox Lead Design right here saying, yesterday, the abilities team got to take a good look at the content we have been cooking up for the next season. It was really effing energizing and had us giggling with joy. Those are the moments that are awesome when it clicks and all the work comes together to make something fun. So the abilities team, apparently there's literally a specific abilities team when it comes to the sandbox, which is, it's really cool to see. I mean, we don't know exactly how everything works at Bungie, but I'm sure everything is categorized and put in a certain way. So everyone has like their own little team that they work with. And so there's an actual abilities team and apparently they're doing a pretty crazy overhaul. You'll see here with some more uh, information that's given to us. The next tweet following up this said, I'm so happy to say that season 15's balance patch is also shaping up nicely. I know it sucks when we go dark, but we're making some cool stuff and that takes time. So some really interesting stuff happening to the sandbox. One thing that I will say though, which is that a lot of changes keep happening to the sandbox, buffing this, nerfing that. And I do like the changes. I do think that we're getting to a pretty well balanced sandbox where we have a variety of different things being used. And I know don't don't roast me too much in the comments below. I know there's a lot of just hand cannons and shotguns, but at least there's a variety of, you know, different types of hand cannons, right? But one thing I will say is that there comes a point where we got to stop focusing on the sandbox and balancing this and balancing that and focusing on bringing the new content out, right? We need new maps for PvP. We need some new game modes. And when you bring some new ones back, why not just try some old ones too? Let's try Rift. But don't just bring old maps back bring old game modes back and nothing new. We need some new content. We need to focus on that. I feel like the sandbox has gotten to a pretty good place right now. You can roast me if you want. The sandbox is in a good enough place right now that we need to focus on new content, not balancing it even further, all right? New content is what we need in the highest priority, in my opinion, but I am still excited to see what the sandbox team does come up with because perhaps it's just an entirely different department that works on the new content. So, you know, obviously if the sandbox team has to work on the sandbox stuff they're not going to work on the new stuff so i don't know how it all works at bungie uh i don't know what goes on behind the curtains too much but uh dmg community manager actually responds to this saying ayo we need to talk about the twab copy soon and in this it says august 24th is coming soon we have some sandbox details and crossplay to cover between now and then sometimes i still wish i could be locked in a crypto crypto sleep until announced days excitement and anticipation for august is thick enough to cut with a knife so some really big changes are coming it seems like this season is shaping up to be more like a pvp season like i've talked about in the past let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section below uh, obviously we have nerfs to three peaking it would seem like you know whenever we get the the trailer for whatever season 15 is going to come out i wouldn't be surprised if there was a serious focus on pvp for the season i could be completely wrong and get completely blown out of the water but with changes to sandbox repeaking and so many other different sources crossplay coming into factor and everything else i can't help but feel like we're gonna get some serious uh pvp content for season 15 fingers crossed that's what it is and i'm definitely interested in seeing how they adjust abilities because right now one of the biggest issues with abilities is they're extremely passive you get your super for just being alive right you get your grenade you get your melee it's not really uh encouraged you know to push out and do things like one of the biggest uh downsides to this ability current meta that we have right now is like you can see it with chaos reach right chaos reach people rocking 100 intellect sitting in the back of the map you know they get to 75 percent super energy and then they sprint in circles with their boot with their geomag boots right um issues like that are just forever persistent in this current like the way the sandbox works with abilities now it'll be really cool to see what a complete overhaul to that looks like because destiny has been needing an overhaul for that for a long time and i hope that we get a more like reward based ability type thing where you don't just you aren't just given supers or given grenades from doing nothing i feel like that would be a really cool way of handling things let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section below i don't know exactly how they would do it it doesn't have to be entirely kills it could be kills it could be assists it could be damage done it could be you know focused on aggression things like that you could do it on so many different things but there's so many different ways to balance these abilities but it would definitely need a big overhaul and i can't wait to see what uh you know abilities 2.0 looks like in destiny 2 but let me know what you think they're going to be doing. 
apparently that's going to be pretty crazy. I mean, all the Bungie devs are talking about it between each other. So some exciting stuff on the horizon for Destiny 2. And that's a wrap for this news story. Make sure to subscribe with notifications on if you aren't already. I'm going to keep you up to date on all the news here on this YouTube channel. And smash the like button. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.